All right, this is lab 8.2, and this is the second question of three. And here we're calculating the accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year, depreciation expense for the year, and finishing or ending accumulated depreciation at the end of the year, December 31st, 2014. We have three different kinds of property plant equipment, three different depreciation methods, and we need to work out what the accumulated depreciation would be at the beginning. And uh, so let's get started. We have some equipment which we purchased on January the 2nd, 2011. We need to determine the amount of depreciation which has been recorded. So let's start with the depreciation expense because that's going to be the cost of 274000 minus the salvage value of 10000 divided by the life of 10 years. And that would be the total depreciation expense for 2014. And uh, we grab that and drag it over here. We have used that asset now since uh, January 2nd, 2011. So December 31st, 2011 would be the first year of use, then 2012, one more year, and December 31st, 2013, the third year. So we actually used it for three years. So the accumulated depreciation would be that amount times three years. Now, the first year, we might actually have to uh, be concerned about when we purchased the asset. So if you purchased the asset, uh, say, in May, uh, you would have used only 8 twelfths in the first year. So you'll need to change your 3 into uh, 2 and 8 twelfths. Uh, but in my case, uh, 3 is the correct number because we bought it on January 2nd, and that's a full year to December the 31st. So that's that result. So we can grab that and bring it over here. Total depreciation, accumulated depreciation, would be 4 years after one more year. Okay, and you can also check that by taking 79,000 plus 26 to give you 105. Okay, double declining balance. We have a 10 year life uh, for this asset, and the asset cost is 180,000. So uh, we also note that we bought it on May 4th. So that means that's four months into the year January, February, March, April have gone. So May is the fifth month. And uh, so in the first year, we would have only recorded. 8 twelfths of the opening uh, accumulated depreciation. So, uh, in the first year, we would have done 180,000 times 2 over 10, which is the double declining balance calculation, times 8 over 12. That would be our first year of depreciation. So, we bought it on May 4th of 2013, and we're talking about December 31st of 2013. So, this is the only year in which we've been depreciating the asset. So that would be the amount of accumulated depreciation for that first year. Now, in the second year, we would take uh, two tenths times one hundred eighty thousand. Oops, the bracket there, and uh, subtract the twenty-four thousand, which we've already depreciated in the first year. And of course, we have a full year here, so we can even multiply by twelve twelve. So just to go to the end and take that out. So the 31,200 would represent one full year of depreciation. And then, of course, the accumulated depreciation at the end of the year would just be the total of two. Like that. The final uh, situation, we've got trucks, which were purchased on March 3rd, 2012. So that's a partial year. But because we're using units of production, it doesn't really matter uh, whether it's a partial year because the units of production automatically adjusts for any part year usage because you wouldn't be using the truck for driving as many kilometers. We drive this truck for a lot of kilometers. 427,000 in 2012, 287,000 in 2013, and in 2014, 361,000 kilometers. And that's all shown in the table below here. So, uh, as at December 31st, 2013, we had would have used all of 2012's kilometers plus all of 2013's kilometers. So, the first thing we need to do is determine the rate. So, the rate would be at 438,050 minus the salvage value of 10,000. Divide that by the total uh, useful life of 1,223,000. So, 1,223,000 kilometers. That's the rate that we would, uh, we would use. And uh, unfortunately, if we just hit enter, the uh, rounding is too small to see what that rate actually is. So now we want to take that rate, so get the end key, and multiply by the total kilometers used in 2012, 427,000, 
plus the total kilometers in 2013, which is 287,000. And that's the amount of accumulated depreciation we would have at December 31st, 2013. So we already have the rate, so let's just drag that over to the next one. And uh, go to the end and back out the 427 and the 287. And in 2013, we used 361,000 kilometers. So that would be the amount of depreciation expense for 2014. So in uh, 2014, you can either take the rate, go to the end, and add the last 361,000, or you can just add the two numbers together. So if you added, oops, that doesn't seem right. Uh, what the hell do you mean? Oh, I push a minus seven. That's not good. You want to add it, not subtract it. Okay, that makes more sense now. 249 plus 126 gives you 376. So that looks like it works. So once again, let me just drag this down so you can see the calculation. Cost minus salvage value divided by total life times the number of the production units we've used in the first couple of years. And then in the second year, 361,000 used in 2014. And then the total of all three years there. And of course, you could have just added the 249.9 and the 126. So let's see what lyrics thought of all of that. Lyrics agrees. We're done.